Yes. Mm hmm What else? Oh my goodness, are you, is that okay? Hi, I'm Kayla Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm farther behind on my revisions than I want to be. I'm about two-thirds of the way through my second act, and I still have the last part of Act 2, and then all of Act 3 to get through, and only about a week and a half to do it in. So I'm a little bit nervous about doing that in time. I have a three-day weekend because Monday is a holiday for us. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to like focus really hard on getting revisions done this weekend and try to get as far as I can. I would love to get to the end of Act 2 this weekend, although I don't know that that's possible. But that is my sort of stretch goal, distant hope. Good morning, it is Saturday and I have a headache. I also was not as productive as I would have liked it to be yesterday. I started listening to Nalini Singh's Archangel's Blade during work work. Uh, I was doing a bunch of like data entry stuff and then after work it was like a physical impossibility to just stop cold turkey. So I was not as productive as I might have liked, but uh, I did get some done yesterday and I have a three day weekend. So we are gonna try to get through the next 61 pages of act two. I would love, love if I could get through the end of act two. Um, and I think 61 pages is doable. So, so two things, one, I lied, I did not have 61 pages left to do. I had 56. And two, I'm supposed to be working on my edits, but I'm shopping for notebooks I don't need. I have so many unused notebooks, and yet I'm just on the internet shopping for more notebooks instead of doing my edits. I, what I need is like a term paper to procrastinate on because nothing gets me to work on my book or whatever faster than having something more important to do. So to be honest, I have not been as productive as I would like um, and I still have a headache, but it is farmer's market day. So I am gonna go hang out with my mom, go to the farmer's market, probably buy some jam I don't need and then uh, come back, eat some farmer's market snacks and continue writing and maybe clean my kitchen. Oops. What if I just don't have any of the scenes where Kara is in her mountain lion shape? I just haven't written any of them and I really don't wanna. I really don't wanna. So it actually hasn't been that long since I last filmed and I know that I said I wasn't sure if I was gonna get through act two this weekend, but um, it's still Saturday and I'm through act two. I did 56 pages of revisions in like just a couple hours, which is very impressive for me. Although it's also pretty clear that I'm a much better writer after the midpoint than I am in the introductory parts. Um, that might be because I'm more established in the world. It might be because the first half of this book was written like longer ago and was written um, less consistently. The first part of the book was written in like stops and starts. So it might just be that I was less consistent and so my writing was less like the my writing time was less consistent, so my writing quality and my writing content was less consistent. It's also the part that I typically plan out first. I'll have like a central conceit as an idea and then I kind of know where I want my climax to end up. Like I know what I want the last act to look like before I know where I want my first act to be. So I guess it's also the part I've been thinking about the longest and it's the part that I'm most naturally drawn to. So it doesn't make sense that I would be like, the cleanest at it, which is not to say that it is like perfect clean writing that doesn't need any revisions. It absolutely does. Maybe I won't give myself a no capitalism, no writing day this weekend. So yesterday we found out that my Strata company had the lockbox stolen, which contained the front door key for my building and the unit keys for every unit in the building. So that's cool. Also, my friend who's a property manager, my friend who's a property manager pointed out that since they didn't say they were unlabeled, the keys probably have our unit numbers on it. So I didn't sleep great last night. I was a little stressed out, but we are gonna make coffee and we are gonna work on our book. And hopefully, uh, we're actually gonna get stuff. My fucking cats. Um, hopefully we're actually gonna get some stuff done. My dad decided to come over and put in a new deadbolt for our door, which I'm very appreciative of. But also, 
but also uh, put up some wallpaper that I've been wanting to put up for a while now and he's gonna come help me because he's nice like that he's also my landlord <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do a little bit of revision before then and we'll see how much I get done after he leaves it sort of depends on how much time it takes and what we end up doing with it so so obviously this is not my bedroom, but I just finished putting up the wallpaper in my living room for my accent wall and I'm fucking obsessed with it. Also by I finished, I mean me and my roommate and my dad finished. It was definitely like a team effort and I could not have done it without them. But I love it so much. I think it is very cool. It gives me those like modern Victorian vibes. I will include a picture here so you can get a better sense of what it actually looks like. But it did take like three and a half, four hours and I'm pretty tired and I'm pretty hungry. My dad just went home, my roommate went out for a hike with some friends, which I do not know how he has the energy for that because I'm bushwhacked. So I think that I'm going to eat some dinner and chill out. I still have to do some other cleaning. Um, we had to push my dining room table up to the side and my kitchen could use a good clean. So I think I'm gonna do that stuff, listen to an audiobook. And then when all that is done, hit revisions again this evening. So it's like 11 o'clock on Monday morning for the Victoria Day long weekend. And I did not get the early start I might have liked for my writing. But since I'm also not giving myself one day this weekend where I have like no writing shit to do, I think that's okay. I think like a late start is fine as long as I do actually do the writing part, which is sort of the concern with starting late is it's really easy for me to get into a He's just gonna watch my coffee happen. I um, need to get into a pattern of not doing the writing and I'm not gonna let myself do that. We are making a cup of coffee, we're gonna pet the cat, and then we are gonna go into my room and work on my book. This is act three, like this is it. This is all we've got for act three. So theoretically, I should be able to finish it today. That would be amazing. I'm very close to being done this revision read through. I have like, 17 pages left to go over and I the idea of being done today is so great to be honest with you I am so ready to be done with this part of the process I know that I have to go back to it I know that there's a lot of things that I left that need to be done um I know that I need to still figure out some things I know that it's like I know that it's not ready to go to betas or anything like that but just having actually read through it and made some like big revisions to it and made it less trash <laughs> it's just such a good feeling and it's so nice to know that i am like making that forward progress we're gonna finish this tonight mark my words i have tea i ordered some takeout we're gonna get through this i'm done rereading act three i've made my revisions which means i have read the entirety of this terrible fucking book it is rough but we've made revisions, it is getting there, it is closer to good, and I have this whole crazy two pages of shit I need to change or to add or to make a decision on for the entirety of the book. So right now, because I'm done, I'm gonna watch an episode of Murder, She Wrote, I'm gonna eat my takeout because it's getting cold, and then tonight I'm gonna go over this and break it down into what needs to go in act one, act two, act three, and then stuff that needs to be either decided upon or like sprinkled throughout the entirety of the book. There are a couple of places where like, do I wanna add a scene here? What do I wanna do with this scene? I need to make some choices about things like, if I wanna have um, any scenes from her like shifted perspective or if I'm just not gonna go there, do I wanna add a couple more sex scenes? Do I wanna add a couple more sexy scenes? that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna try to get that nailed down tonight or at least mostly nailed down tonight. I think that sleeping on it will probably help me like mull over some of that kind of stuff. But we've made really good progress. I got through like a lot of the book this weekend. Um, just being like a little stricter with myself, pushing myself a little harder. And admittedly, the back half was a lot better than the first half was. Um, as I said, when I finished up act two, after the midpoint, my writing got a lot cleaner and a lot more focused. I didn't have as much shit that I hated in it. And I, I'm not sure if that's because I was trying harder, if I was more in the zone, if it was just that the first half of a book is harder for me because of like setting the stage. I don't have to do any of that in the back half, but either way, um, I don't hate how this turned out and 
I'm very glad to be moving on to the next step. So me and my take it, we'll see you later. So I think that I am gonna make like another video in which I put together sort of more cogent insights about my process and how I feel about it and my weaknesses and what I need to work on and what I need to remember going forward into my next revision process. I think that would be really, really beneficial for future Kayla to look at and to be able to review um, when revisions become a stress in the future, which I'm sure they will. But for the time being, I'm just really glad that I'm finished this. I'm really glad that I'm moving forward into the next thing, even if there are changes that still need to be made, even if I do need to now do another reread. I'm very hopeful about uh, getting my betas by the end of quarter goal underway. I think that that's really achievable for me. Thank you so much if you have stuck around this long. I'm sure this video was like long and kind of bumbly and all over the place. So thank you so much for that. If you were looking for me anywhere else, I am pretty much everywhere as Kayla Amanda. That is K-A-Y-L-U-G-H-M-A-N-D-A. -A -A, and I'll see you next time.